everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and today it's time for snacks around the world. And I think mostly today we're doing snacks around Asia. Okay, that's how it's just going to work out. Today's snacks come from the box that I subscribe to called Munch Addict. No affiliation. I pay for it myself. Just uh, decided to try out a subscription box for snacky things from all over the place because I think that's kind of fun. Now today's snacks, I have three packets here. I'm going to start with the one that looks rather nondescript. I believe this probably came as part of a multi-pack, like, you know, 10 of them in a, in a major box and they split them up to send out. These, I believe, are the Ginbis Animal Rich Buttered Cookies Shaped in Various Animal Shapes from Japan. And I think I had something very similar to this that I purchased from H Mart in a bigger box that got taken by the hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use scissors because, you know, Deborah proof packaging. I just can't ever get anything open without scissors. These are a little bit different than those. Let me show you a little packet there. These, instead of just having like the names of the animals on it, it's actually a little image like printed on. How cute is that? I'm about to chomp on a koala. A koala wearing a cute little crown, by the way. Oh, they're filled. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I'm tasting a fruit. Almost tastes like mango. Hmm. Let's uh, try another one because I'm just not sure. What is this one? Oh, it's another koala. This is a different koala. Hoping you can see that. The crackers or cookies or whatever they are, are just these little strangely shaped things and they appear to be filled with some kind of fruit. I'm thinking it's mango. pretty yummy though. That's a nice sweet treat and it's not overly sweet. This is one that you know parents probably feel good about giving to their kids because a it's not overly sweet and b it has cute little pictures of animals on it. I was expecting to see more different animals. There's, is there another animal or are they all koalas? I think they're all koalas. That's kind of weird because the packet has well, the packet looks like it has pigs on it. Maybe those are koalas too. That is very strange. I don't see anything on here about koala snacks or whatever. Mm. They're yummy. Let's put those aside. Maybe have some more later because there's more to try. I don't want to get filled up on one. This one looks like corn has Asian writing on it. Let's look at the handy dandy cheat sheet here and see where it comes from. This one comes from Taiwan. This is called a Pei Tan Roll. Crispy airy corn puff sticks in seaweed flavor. That sounds pretty good. I like seaweed flavor. Oh, it says this is where you open it. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, is it actually gonna work for me? Ah. All right, that makes me kind of happy. I usually can't get into these packets. I smell the seaweed straight away. Not overpoweringly, but I can smell it there. That's pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. It's very light and it seems very crispy. You can see the flecks of seaweed in it. If you've ever had chips that have seaweed flavor and stuff in it, um, that's what it always looks like. The texture it was like a cheese puff. Cheese doodle, the soft kind. That is exactly what the texture is like. But it doesn't have any of that weird orange cheesiness to it. And when you eat it, I mean, you can smell a little bit of seaweed on it, but eating it, I don't taste it at all. I taste a corn snack. It's a nice savory snack. It does stick to my teeth a little bit though. 
like a cheese puff would. I mean, literally, that is like a thicker cheese puff with a hole in the middle because it's probably extruded that way. Was it rolled in some seaweed on the outside. I would get this again. If I were at a convenience store looking for a little snack, I might pick that one up. That's actually pretty good. You still get stuff on your hands. It's just not orange. Bonus. Finally, I'm going to try this one. When I show it to you, even though you're not going to recognize the letters on it, you're going to know what it is. Tell me you didn't spot Oreos straight away, right? This is from Korea, Korean Oreo Thins. Classic Oreo sandwich with a uniquely Korean filling. Tiramisu, vanilla mousse, or raspberry. I don't know which one we have because I can't read Korean. And looking at the middle, it doesn't really tell you anything, although it does look like it might be tiramisu. Let's see if I can, oh, Deborah proof. All right. Oh, it's tiramisu. I'm pretty sure I can, I got a whiff of a little bit of coffee delightness. Oh, it had, there's just a little bit of, it's broken. That means there's no calories in it. If it's broken, isn't that the rule? You know, it's not even stamped Oreo in Korean though. The Oreo stamp is in English. Okay, then why don't they sell these here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I gotta figure out how to get this packet open a little bit more. Oh. Well, as you can see, the hand hurt Oreo and tiramisu, and there he comes. Mmm. That is really nice. I love Oreos anyway. They have Oreos have like zero nutritional value. It's just a decadent guilty pleasure treat. I try not to buy them because I will go into sort of binge eating mode. You're not supposed to eat a whole row in the family size packet at one sitting. I'm pretty sure. That's what somebody said anyway. But that and a, and a cup of uh, or an ice cold mug of ice cold milk you can dip it in. Oh heaven. These thin ones though especially in a small packet. You eat some and then you're done because the packet's gone. I kind of like that. I know the extra packaging really isn't eco-efficient or whatever, but for, you know, snack overhaul people like me, yeah, you kind of need that. Oreo, y'all did pretty good on this one. Send it to the U.S. without me having to go through a subscription service to get it. That is super nice. Very thin. It's got, you know, it's the, the cookie is typical Oreo, but thinner. And we have Oreo thins over here in different flavors. Sometimes I've seen the lemon. I love the lemon. I love the mint. Oh my gosh. The mint. It makes you feel like you're eating a Girl Scout cookie without eating a Girl Scout cookie, like a thin mint, but like, you know, Oreo perks or whatever. Okay. I am going to have one more. Mm. Oreo brings us weird flavors here. I've seen things like carrot cake Oreos and oh, lemon. I like lemon anything though, so that's not too weird for me. But the lemon ones are on a vanilla cookie. It's not on a chocolate cookie. So that's not bad. I've seen birthday cake, um, coconut. Yeah, they've come up with, with some strange stuff, but they don't come up with something like this. Y'all, Nabisco, come on, step up your game. Americans might eat some of this. I'll eat so I'm an American. I'll eat it. You know, not all of it. But I'll have some. Unless I'm having a binge eat day and then I might eat all of it. All of it. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of Oreo? Do you like Oreos? Have you not tried an Oreo ever? Oh yeah, that if you've never tried an Oreo, let me know that down in the comments because that just blows my mind. I've been eating Oreos since I was a little kid. Obviously, I have the body of Oreos, you know. But yeah, I remember trying Oreos when I was a little kid. 
that was like a snack treat that my grandparents would have. You know, that, that was a grandparents kind of snack in my family. It was like, okay, here you go, kid. Here's some chocolate. Worked for me. But, uh, yeah, if you've never had Oreos, though, because they don't have them in your part of the world, or it's not something you eat because it's fattening junk food, I want to hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming by for Snacks Around the World. Today, we have been to Japan. We have been to Taiwan. And we have been to Korea. So we spent our time in the East today. Maybe I should have been eating these with chopsticks. And don't say I couldn't, because I could. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See y'all very, very soon. Take care.